guys. Okay, so this week's top tip is going to be aimed a little bit more at beginners. I'm just going to very quickly talk about your needle overhang. So the length that your needle is actually sticking out of your cartridge. One of the really common um, posts I see on forums or with students struggling is I've got no ink flow, I'm tattooing, there's no ink coming out, or the opposite where I can't see where I'm going because it's pulling um, and there's ink everywhere. So that just is how far out your needle is. If your needle is out too far, the ink will take longer to travel down the needle to the skim. So the further out your needle, the slower your ink flow will be. And the shorter your needle, the less distance the ink has to travel, so the quicker your ink flow will be. So for me, if I'm shading, I like quite a quick ink flow so I don't have to keep re-dipping. So I have my needle a little bit shorter. If I'm lining or I'm doing hair strokes, I want a really controlled, slow flow of pigment or ink. Um, so I would have my needle out a little bit longer. If you still have no idea on what's long, what's short, here's a very quick video for you just to show you a really, really easy way of getting your needle at the right length for your machine. And then you can tweak it depending on technique. Your machine is off. If you twist your grip until your needle sits flush with the top of your casing, so if you just twist your grip, you'll see the needle moves. So you wanna twist it so that the needle is just flush with the top of the casing. Then when you turn your machine on, your needle will actually be um, protruding at the right length for the cam on your machine.